Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to East Central Missouri and the world, and welcome to the James Strong Show podcast, podcast number 193. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for making us a part of your day. I appreciate it. This podcast was recorded on the morning of Saturday, October the 31st, from the James Strong Studio in Western St. Charles County. Uh, this is the second podcast I've done uh, in cooperation with a Facebook live broadcast. And the reason I do that is, is, is not is not so you can see my mug on the on the video. Uh, in fact, if you see, I uh, no makeup, no nothing. Just I, I I wipe the sleep boogers out of my eyes, and and here we are. We're gonna we're gonna do the podcast just like this. But when we do this Facebook live, that enables. Uh, this technology that I've put together that enables the callers to call in on the show. That's the good part about it. And that phone number 314-690-1909 should be on the screen too. And uh, so if you want to call in on the show, you can. What we're going to talk about today, though, is just a, just a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Um, lots of stuff going on in the news. Uh, Wednesday night, we did a... Um, a podcast with the Gray Falcon, and it was two hours of politics, okay? Um, today, we're doing zero hours of politics, no politics, just uh, uh, a little bit of this and a little bit of that stuff that's in the news. Um, so those of you that were listening to the podcast on Wednesday and said, you know what, I really don't like this whole politics thing. What are you talking about this for? Well, you'll get your uh, your wish today because no politics on today's show. Uh Whenever, however, whenever I have the opportunity to have the Gray Falcon on, he is a political animal. He knows more about politics than anybody that I know. And it's because he is so well read. I mean, I the, sure, the guy's got a job and everything else, but I think he spends, I don't know if he sleeps because he, he just reads and reads and reads and reads and reads and reads. And the guy is just a wealth of information. Uh, if you get a chance, go back and listen to the podcast. Uh, that's podcast number one, what was it? One, 193, 190. Yeah, it was 192. Uh, listen to that podcast because the guy knows what he's talking about. In my opinion, uh, and we just really touched on the presidential election, but in my opinion, if you want a, Voters guide, an unbiased voters guide as to who's the best candidate. I would recommend listening to uh, listening to that podcast, and or go to James Gray Falcon's post Facebook post Facebook page because the guy has posts on there, lots of posts on there. So uh, do that. Um, today, though, uh, first of all, it, it, this this just happened. And I posted on Facebook. I got a text from a friend. Uh, Sean Connery died. Uh, he was 90 years old and lived a full life. Uh, was, in my opinion, the best of the James Bonds. Uh, he played Bond multiple times. Uh, what, what was he playing? Let me, let me go through the movies off the top of my head. Uh, Dr. No from Russia with Love, Goldfinger. Uh, uh Thunderball. Uh, what's the next one? You only live twice, and then he came back and did Casino. Or, uh, yeah, Casino, not Casino Royale. Um, the one in Las Vegas. What was it? Diamonds are forever. Thank you. And then, if you want to count Never Say Never Again, you can do that. So he played a lot of Bond in a lot of Bond films. The best Bond, in my opinion. He won an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor in uh, The Untouchables. But Sean Connery, dead at age 90. Um, I was sent, <laughs> I was sent a, uh, a uh, video by uh, Jeff Colonna, and it was a, a Sean Connery interview with Barbara Walters. And this interview was done in 1987, so... <sighs> what was that 33 years ago? Okay. So Connery would have been 57 quick math. I think I'm right. But, uh, in this video, Sean Connery discusses slapping women. Now, a lot of you folks are going to say, what are you playing this for? Well, just, just 
just because, because of the way Sean Connery was, the way things have changed. But I'm going to go ahead and play this clip real quick, and it's Barbara Walters interviewing Sean Connery. And uh, it's very interesting. It's, it's not very long. It's a, like a minute or so long. Here we go. Let's see. Do this, do that. Which you said, uh, it's not the worst thing to slap a woman now and then. As I remember, you said you don't do it with a clenched fist. It's better to do it with an open hand. Mm. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah. Yeah. And I, I didn't love that. I haven't changed my opinion. You haven't? No, not at all. You think it's good to slap a woman? No, I don't think it's good. You I don't think, think it's bad? It must, I don't think it's that bad. I think that it depends entirely on the circumstances and if it merits it. Yeah. And what would merit it? Well, if you have tried everything else, and women are pretty good at this, that they can't leave it alone. Yeah? They don't they want to have the, the, the last word, and you give them the last, last word, but they're not happy with the last word. They want to say it again and, and get into a really provocative situation. Then I think it's absolutely right. Uh, what would- now, just so you know, that was a, kind of a goof at the end of the video where it was a, a, a meme that came up with Sean Connery slapping. Uh, Everybody else help, is worried about not, it. Well, I can't help noticing uh, that a lot of your face is not injured. We don't want to listen to that, but uh, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a meme of Sean Connery uh, slapping Barbara Walters. But that's how things have changed. Could you imagine? Could you imagine if any actor did that during an interview today? Cancel, cancel, cancel. That's how things have changed from 1987 to today. And that's how men have changed also. Uh, There will be no more Sean Connerys. Uh, People, (laughs) was that a man's man? Maybe so. But the, the bottom line is there will never be another Sean Connery. Sean Connery, rest in peace. Uh, some of my Facebook posts, uh, in fact, I, I will say this, but the Facebook posts that I get that seem to be the most popular, that seem to get the most comments, that seem to, um, be the best, that the people seem to like the most are my happy weekend posts where I post, uh, post my happy hour Friday night drink and where I put pictures of my food up on Facebook. And and I've had people ask me, why are you doing that? I mean, what's, what's with that? And, and I don't do it because I get all kinds of likes. I do it because, well, because Facebook, social media, life in general, I think, has gotten far too serious. It's just gotten too serious. And it's so serious that people don't, seem to want to sit back, relax, and enjoy the moment, okay? Uh, I hate Trump. I hate Biden. I love Trump. I love Biden. Uh, I wear a mask. I don't wear a mask. Dr. Fauci is God. Dr. Fauci is the devil. Uh, Back and forth and back and forth with all the extremists, extremisms, I should say. And I just can't take it anymore. So... Every Friday night, most every Friday night, I come home from work. The trophy wife and I, now to be fair, most of the time it's more her than me, cook a nice dinner. But beforehand, we have happy hour and we have a drink. Last night I had two. But uh, what I do then is I'll make up my cocktail. And sometimes it's special. Sometimes it's not so special. Uh, Last night was special. I had a drink called an aviation. It's a tasty drink, uh, two ounces of gin, three quarters of an ounce of uh, violet liqueur, three quarters of an ounce of uh, maraschino cherry liqueur, and three quarters of an ounce of uh, fresh squeezed lemon juice topped with a uh, Luxardo cherry. It's a nice drink. Drink it in a uh, coupe glass, and it's uh, it's quite refreshing. I had a martini in the same glass uh, right after that. So just two drinks, nice happy hour, okay? But I post that because if somebody sees that post, I guarantee that nobody's going to read that post and hate it. But you're going to see that post and you're going to smile. You're either going to think, 
wow, that's kind of fun. Or, wow, I'm having hopper, happy hour too. Or, wow, this is really something else. I kind of like this. It's, uh, it's a little bit different. And I like it when people respond with what they're having for happy hour. And maybe at that time, maybe not at that time. Maybe what they like to have, what their favorite drink is. And people do that, and I enjoy that. Uh, a cocktail at the end of a hard week is a good thing in my opinion. It's a it's a fun thing. It's an opportunity to, to sit back and relax. Now, I realize that some people don't drink, which is cool. You can see you can have you can have happy hour, you can have a Coke for happy hours. You want to, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh some people can't drink for other reasons. Uh religious reasons, uh medical reasons. I get that too. So just like my Facebook posts of my food, when I put a, uh, if I've grilled a nice steak and, uh, and I put that picture of the steak that I've grilled on the, on the outside grill with my bottle of wine and, and, and talk about what I've had, I don't do it for, uh, to rub your nose in it. Yeah. Okay. You're eating Popeye's chicken and I'm eating steak. I'm better than you. Don't do it for that reason. Again, when you see that big plate of food with that nice glass of wine, uh, my reasoning behind that is this is kind of fun. This is kind of cool. This is kind of something that um, I'm enjoying this, and perhaps you're enjoying something similar. It's lighter. It's a chance to step back, take a breath, and say, you know what? Let's be a little bit light this time. It's the weekend. Let's enjoy it. So that's the reason I do it. I'm going to continue to do it on a fairly semi-regular basis. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. If you do, I'm glad. Uh, I guess you're going to probably enjoy it or not care. If you don't care, I get that. Uh, But I don't think anybody's going to hate on it like a political political, uh, statement would would, would, would draw that type of of comment. Anyway... uh, in the news also, uh, this week we had the World Series, world champion uh, Los Angeles Dodgers. Congratulations. Uh, I will tell you, when they brought the baseball season back this year, uh, I was surprised. Uh, I think Major League Baseball did a good thing in bringing it back. I thought it would never work. I thought that uh, somebody would get COVID-19, they'd shut it all down. Well, some people did. Cardinals did. Marlins did. Maybe maybe another team or two, but primarily the Cardinals and the Marlins, I think, had problems. But but Major League Baseball had a even this even though it was just sixty games, they had something that was similar to a baseball season. And at first I was against it, but I'm, now I'm glad. I'm glad they did it because you know what? It, it gave people an opportunity to have some entertainment. It gave people an opportunity to enjoy themselves, to smile, to take a break from the COVID-19 mess, to take a break from the political mess, to take it just to maybe smile. And way back when the Romans used to say that for the common people, you must give them their bread and circus, which means you need to give them enough to eat and you need to give them something that's entertaining. Uh, That hasn't changed. We still need our bread and circus. We have to eat and we have to be entertained. And sports is a good way to have mindless entertainment. I enjoyed the baseball season. I enjoyed, in fact, I really enjoyed actually watching the playoffs in the World Series after the Cardinals were out more than when the Cardinals were in. And the reason being is I'm a Cardinal fan. Their team was not really good this year. Uh, Far too many teams made it into the playoffs. What was it? 16 teams made it into the playoffs, something like that. At least two of them that I know made it into the playoffs with a record under 500. Uh, it's become, it, it became like the, like the NHL or the NBA where everybody and their dad makes the playoffs and it's no big accomplishment. Uh, Cardinals didn't have a horrible team this year. They had a pretty good team. It was decent, but it wasn't a playoff team and they didn't go anywhere in the playoffs. Uh, that being said, if you don't have any any team to root for, you can enjoy the game itself. And I did enjoy the playoff games. It was a good release. It was good entertainment for me, and I enjoyed it. Now, what will the Cardinals do moving forward? It's hard to say. Um, I don't think they're going to be spending any money this year. 
Uh, I, I think they will actually be looking to spend less money in 2021 than they did in 2020.